There's a number of astrophysical measurements, observations, astronomy, that tell us that um, there's more matter in the universe than what we can see with our telescopes. Uh, it turns out when you look at the, the gravitational pull on galaxies and stars and the universe around us, that the matter that we can see through light, stars and this sort of thing, the matter we're familiar with, only accounts for about 15% of what is actually out there. 85% uh, of the matter in the universe, the stuff that actually holds together galaxies and the clusters of galaxies in the universe that we know is made up by some non-luminescent material, which we refer to as, as dark matter. We would like to know what that is, discover it, and study it. Well, it's, the, it's sort of the underlying composition of what formed the universe that we see today. Um, our theories of how the universe evolved basically posit that there must have been some seeds of, of gravitational material, matter, early in the universe where all of what we call our galaxies and stars today formed around. And that has to have been the dark matter. So if dark matter did not exist, then we would not exist today in any, in any form that we recognize. The, the universe would still just be filled with hydrogen and helium gas. So there are a number of different ways that one can try and detect dark matter directly. Um, there's actually a whole zoo of different technologies that are being developed. Um, because dark matter has not been yet discovered, um, people don't know exactly what the right way to do this is. The experiment that we've been working on um, uses a type of radiation detector, a germanium radiation detector, um, which is made of a germanium crystal about this big, about the size of your fist. Um, and these detectors are very sensitive to um, particles, typically radiation, but um, also potentially dark matter, striking the germanium atoms, the nuclei inside the crystal, and measuring the, uh, the ionization charge that's created by that. It's basically the electrons flowing out like an electrical pulse um, from the detector. So this is a particular detector design that we've been developing here at um, PNNL for a number of years um, in terms of making them more sensitive. You know, they can measure smaller signals, um, lower background in terms of being able to measure um, events that happen even more rarely in comparison to all of the natural radioactivity which these detectors are sensitive to. Um, and this is why we need the underground laboratories to be able to test that we are building a sense, uh, an instrument that is sensitive enough.